Hi guys, how you going? My name's Brian. Got another video here for you on how to back up your Windows drivers. Now this is going to be really handy if your Windows operating system has come become unstable and you need to wipe the operating system because obviously it's unrepairable to that point where you need to wipe it. Or maybe it's so infected and you can't uh, clean the system because it's so riddled with viruses and you just want to wipe and put everything back. Or maybe you just want to format your machine and put it back. So this is a good way of backing up your Windows drivers and saving you a lot of time for hunting for drivers and, and whatnot. Okay, especially if you've got an old machine, what this is going to do is some of the old drivers now are pretty hard to come by. You may have lost the disks some time ago and you can't find the drivers for it. So there is some uh, freeware drivers uh, software that you can actually use to actually back up your drivers. We're going to have a look at the first one first. It's called Double Driver. Now, all you need to do is download it from my description I will put the links up there and then push scan and remember this is a virtual machine so you will just see Microsoft stuff and all that but if you did it on your machine it will be a lot different click select and then all and then back up and we're going to choose the location now we're going to choose a location inside our network driver a network partition there and we'll just make a new and we're going to call this uh, DD for double drive OK, click OK, and then we're going to back up all drivers, click OK, and there you go, that's starting to back up those drivers. And once we've backed them up, it says finish, so we're going to click close, and then if we wanted to restore these at some point, we all we'd need to do is format the machine, and if you have a look in the location where we've just been, DD, this is the folder it's created with all our drivers in there, so as you can see, it's got all our drivers that we need, OK? so that's ideal so what we need to do now is back those drive uh, restore those drivers so we format the machine got a nice fresh install and we actually click on restore at this point find the location of our folder like so and we're going to actually go to DD click OK and that will show us the drives and then click on restore click OK continue anyway you may get that if it's a, a, a driver that Windows doesn't recognize just click OK and continue and there you have it that's the actual process done so it saved you a lot of tr trouble okay hunting around for drivers so that's the first program called double uh, double driver another one you've got is chili device driver backup it's another cool little program basically all you need to do is back up your drivers same thing put the tick in there back the drivers up, pick a location and we're going to do the same location as before in there and we'll actually make a new folder and call it Chili Drivers say CD or maybe I'll put drivers there C drivers click OK and there you have it it's backing all those drivers up and the same thing again, you just click on the restore button and go through the same process. All you'd need to do is wait till they finish backing all the drivers up. Okay, click OK. And then if you once you're formatted, you would come in, put this machine put this back on your machine. Now you can back all these drivers up to an external hard drive, never back up all your drivers to the drive that you're formatting. Always back them up to say a pen drive or something like that. And you just access them again, they're so much easier. You need to put the ticks in the ones that you want and then restore as simple as that down here okay the next one we're going to be looking at is wind drivers there's another program and basically it wants to back them up to wind drivers and we're going to um, identify all drivers like so okay select all okay back up the drivers into that folder and then back up drivers you can see them coming in now it doesn't quite show you here it just does it in a grayed out area down here it says a driver backup complete it's not very clear there but hey it still works click done and the same thing again you'd obviously restore those in the same way okay so that's that wind drivers and one more for you fabs auto backup this is slightly different it's got a few more bits and pieces on it um, basically you pick up the location and we'll just go to that same area again so we'll just go to the same area I'm going to call this fabs like so 
click OK and then back up go next like so and you go next again and you can actually back up your favorites for Internet Explorer Outlook Express identities and personal data files it's just got a few PST files you can see it's got a few more bits and pieces and then if mail Windows Live Mail uh, Windows Address Book Thunderbird stuff like that and just keep going documents fonts okay then you can actually add files as well which is pretty cool and then cl click on launch and this will actually back up all those files for you okay so once they're backed up you're all ready to go format your machine put your windows operating system back on partition your drive and put all your drivers back on it's going to save you a lot of time okay so I hope this tutorial has been some use to you I'm going to cancel this because we've done it okay one more thing before I go uh, there's another place you can look at as well which is actually driverpacks.net another great place to get your drivers this only does Windows XP at the moment but they will be doing Vista and Windows 7 but these are all the chipset drivers CPU graphics A graphics B graphics C there's thousands and thousands of drivers on here what I'd suggest you do is download all these packs it will take some time but download them burn them to a DVD disc DVD disc and always if, especially if you're a technician it's nice to have a big bundle of drivers on you because if you ever come to someone's property and they've got a driver missing or unknown device you right click on that update driver choose to locate the driver from the CD which will have all these drivers on it and basically will hopefully there'll be that driver in there and that will be it you'll be up and running in no time okay my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk I hope this tutorial has been some use to you if you like my tutorials please subscribe to my channel if you've got any questions please leave a comment or email me if you've got a request for a video also just drop me an email and ask me what you want to make a video on and I'll do my best to help you Thanks very much again for watching. My name is Brian. Bye for now.